Hello beautiful people, we will be making seamless looping pop-up alerts for your live streaming in this video. By the way, if you want to get started with premium stream assets and premium pre-made Twitch panels within a few minutes, then today sponsor own.tv has something awesome to offer. Get your very professional Twitch panels, premium stream overlays, packages, animated emotes, alerts, stingers, deck icons, sub badges, and everything you can ask for your professional stream look at an affordable price. You can even create your own custom emojis and badges within their website easily without any design skills. Literally, they have a huge library of stream assets that can fit any niche you are in. So, if you click the first link in the description box and use the code EMSQ to get a whopping 50% off on all of their products. Thank you, own.tv for sponsoring this video. You can watch my previous video where I showed how to design this social pop design. You can click here to watch the video. Alright, we need first to save the project file correctly. You need to save the project file as .psd. Open up your After Effects and create a composition with any settings you want. Then click the blank area of the project area and import the Photoshop file you have saved. From there, make sure you are following these steps. Select the Editable Layer Styles and Composition Retail Layer Styles. Then double-click the composition. It will make a new composition with the actual size we have done in the Photoshop design. As you can see, the smart objects on Photoshop are composition in After Effects. So if you double-click the composition, you will get access to edit those. First, select the text layer style and right-click, then choose Convert to Editable Text. Now, you can change the text directly from After Effects as well. For the base, it will have a loop effect. Select the base layer and press P on your keyboard. Then press the stopwatch to make a keyframe. But I will make the composition shorter. Again, go a few frames ahead and press the diamond icon beside the stopwatch icon. It will make another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and change the Y value. Keep the base lower while you are in the first keyframe. Now preview the animation, and you will have a simple slide up animation. But as you can see, the top layer design always stays visible. To fix that, Select the first layer and choose the set matte effect. If you can't see the effect panel go to window, choose effect and presets. From there, type set matte in the effect box. The top layer will only be visible when the bottom layer appears. Let's add a shine effect. Again search CC Light Sweep. Adjust the settings like mine. Then hold the anchor point and keep it outside the base box. You need to keep the timeline cursor in that time from where the light effect will show. Then add a keyframe in center properties. Now for a few frames ahead and drag the anchor point to the bottom left corner. It will give a nice shine effect. Again go a few frames ahead and slightly move the anchor so it places another keyframe. And again, do the same keyframes we did at the beginning. I put a middle keyframe with slight motion because by doing that, I will be able to pause the animation for some time. You can now copy the position keyframe from the bottom layer and paste that at the end.
then right-click any keyframe and choose Time Reverse Keyframe. It will make the bass go away in the bottom direction, but we will make it a seamless loop. Simply press the diamond icon to place a keyframe, go at the end, and move the Y value to up. So, when the video again plays, the bass will come from the bottom and out from the top. Let's add some animation to the top layer as well. Make the timeline super big. Then press T on your keyboard to enable opacity properties. Then add some random opacity value in every frame. Keep in mind to keep the first and last keyframe to 100. Then select all the keyframes and right-click, choose Toggle Hold Keyframe. It will have a flickering effect. Copy and paste the keyframes in different parts where you want the flickering effect to happen. Let's smooth the animation. Press U to reveal all the keyframes and select them all. Then right-click and choose Easy Ease. You can also hit F9. Then click the graph editor and make sure you are in the speed graph mode. From there, make a curve something to this. Now, preview the buttery smooth animation. Get back to the original composition, and let's work with the text layers. I will keep it very simple. You can follow along with the steps I did because they are straightforward. I will be doing this part with no commentary. But if you want to have a full in-depth tutorial on text animation, please let me know.
It's time to export the animations. Go to File and then choose Export and Export to Render Queue. If you have Media Encoder installed, you can choose the top option. In the Render Queue, choose the Lossless option and choose QuickTime. And make sure it's RGB plus Alpha. Otherwise, you will not get the Transparency option. Another quick note, you need to enable the Transparency button in the actual composition as well. Select your output destination and hit Render. Go to your trusty browser, type Move to WebM, and choose the Cloud Converts link. Upload the exported file and choose the conversion to WebM format. It will take some time, depending on your actual file size. You can directly export as WebM instead of MOV if you have Media Encoder. Alright, now just see the file size difference. The WebM file is less than 1B, and the Move file is way more than 100 megabytes. Imagine how much resources and bandwidth it will take to load on your live stream. Watch my other stream design related easy videos to spice up your stream. Catch you in the next one. Peace.